Today the art lesson is going to be on uh, some swimming fish and this is going to be a view, a front view. We're going to be looking straight down or kind of like a bird's eye view you could call it. Straight down into the water and this could be koi fish or really any kind of fish. You can even do imaginary fish. So this is actually the surface of the water and we can kind of see through the water and see the tropical fish. This kind of looks like my fish, my goldfish in my pond in my backyard. Um, but I have today with me, I think that I counted 21 fifth graders. Was that right? I have 21 yeah. fifth graders. Yeah. Oh, 17 today. There's 17 of them, and their age is uh, 10, 11, and 12. So that's the age group right here. But this is good for any age group. Um, but if you look here, we're going to start off doing some of these lines that are going to divide the page. And actually, this is a really easy project. This is going to be for all ages. So we take our paper, and we're just going to divide the paper um, in half. Let's start off, go halfway, and we're just going to go a curve, and then curve to this side. Just a gentle curve. And this is edge to edge. You can see these are the edges of my page here. Yeah, you're going to be doing whatever I'm making. And then I'm going to double line it. This is the blue. See the blue dividing lines? Now, we don't want these too wide because we don't want this to be in the way of our fish. So I'm just going to double line this and give a narrow band. This is just like an abstract design. So I've double lined it. Now I'm going to place a line on this side, and I'm going to do a curve down and curve to the near the corner. Very narrow. Another narrow band. And then let's do one more narrow band at the bottom. So curving and curve maybe to the corner. So you have three. If you have room for four, you can do four. Here's three, and then if I want to do a part curve here, I can do a part curve at my top. You can always add more of these bands later. Okay, but right now I think I've got four, and that's good. And this is almost like a half a band. I've got three long ones and then a half. Now, in this negative space here, this is where we're going to stick our fish. And I'm going to do my first one over here so that I have a full fish. And this will probably be the only full fish we'll, we'll make today. So start off in the middle of the top bands, okay? And then I'm going to do two circles and just color those in. Those are going to be the eyes. Leave about a finger space between. And then I'm going to do a curve line in front of it, kind of like a C curve. And then I'm going to bring it, this is going to take up the whole page of my composition, so we're going to visualize the whole page, and I kind of want it to be curved a little bit, and if it, you run into these lines, that's okay. This is the fish we're going to make right here first. See it? Right here I left it colored so you could see him. He's going to curve to this edge. So what the next shape I'm going to make is a line down the middle between these two, I'm going to curve this way, cross a band, and then end, just a little bit cross past the band. So I've found my two eyeballs. This is the center line of my fish. I crossed over one of the bands, so we have overlapping. And I'm going to end here. I'm going to put a slight curve here. This is where my tail will come off. I'm going to flute it up, down, and then I'm just going to kind of connect it with a curved line. This is now the fish tail right here. That's this fish tail. But I wanted this overlapping of this band. Then I'm going to, if you, if you mess up, just continue. Ignore your mistake. Now look, I'm bringing this line, and I'm going to bring it down in a curve to meet the tail. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm bringing it down behind my band to meet the tail. And now, basically, I'm just going to add the details to my fish. I can add a side fin here. 
putting in a little bit of detail line and then a side fin here curve this is actually the top fin so I'm curving this curve then I can do a little bump here and then do a rows of lines so that's the top fin and then I'm going to make a C curve here just for detail of the head curve and then I can double curve the mouth area that just separates the head from the back and now I can just do another detail if I want to if I don't like this shape here this is where you can adjust things somebody said they didn't like it or made a mistake if you make mistakes like in this area you can adjust them either adjust them on the outside fixing your curve or I'm just gonna bring this in on the inside here that just forms the different jaw lengths of the fish and then you can design your fish you don't have to do dots like I did you can have it like a koi and do spots so I'll show you on this one if I'm going to do spots. Here's my example of dots. And then I'm going to do it like a koi with just a freeform spot. Now you could do any color combination. If you color in your fish, it could be black and white fish. And then you have bright colors in your ocean. I chose to do some bright orange because it's contrast to the blues. Orange and uh, blue are complementary. So, once you have your one fish, let me show you how to finish. Then in any negative space, instead of having this a blank, blank band of nothing, if you want to put something in here, maybe you want to draw shells. Here, I put just these freeform shapes that are rocks. So, that's up to you if what you want to do in your negative space, but you want to remember that this would be all colored the same for unity. If you did tons of colors here and then bright color fish, it's too much color. Um, now, you have one fish. Now look what you're going to do. You're going to fill up the rest of this area with fish. Now you don't have to put, look at this, this is just part tail here. And then there's part of the face here. I'll show you over here on this one. If I want to do it just the tail, I have my fish body coming off. I'll have my tail right here. This will be a larger tail. Do the tail fin. And then I'll put my detail in. As long as you have one full fish, like we have here, then your design is complete. The, the part bodies, you'll be able to tell their fish from this example. Now I'm going to make the fin detail here. Continue doing neat lines with detail. I'm going to do the fin coming up this way, the back fin here. The same, keep the fish all the same design so you have your unity throughout. I'll put another little fin line in here too, the side fin. And then again, you can put more fish in this area. I'll do another fish head down here. The head and the body, but it's up to you where you're going to put the rest of your fish. And if you want to get detail in the eyes, look, if you, have a, if you have a big enough, this paper seems to be bigger than the one I have here. So I can make a lot of detail. I might want to do a, more detail up here in my eyeballs. You know, you might want double bands in this fish. But keep, whatever you do, you want to keep them the same. Here's a double band. And then I'm going to continue with my koi pattern here. And my koi fin right in here. Now, if I have, what I'll do is I'm going to come around and look, see if some of these fifth graders here have some examples of what they've done so far. And remember, these aren't finished pictures yet. They, the kids uh, are still going to add more to their picture. Let me show you what this student has done so far, just so that you get an idea of what fifth graders are doing. And they have a fish that's kind of diving. And I have... Some more diving fish. This one looks like, oh, this is a great example right here. Um, and this has, this almost looks like a worm even. You know, you could make these backgrounds little cr uh, creatures or worms or little snails. I mean, you don't necessarily have to do rocks. You can do a variety of things in the background. And here's, these are, these, th this fish looks like more action. Here, they look like they're flipping and diving. They look like more movement in the pictures. 
And here's tiny texture. Here's a good example of a lot of tiny texture in the background. And here's some striped fish. So again, use your imagination. This one looks like he's flipping, trying to get away from somebody. So you have a lot of variety. Um, and I want to thank the fifth graders for their examples, and I want to thank the fifth graders for helping me make this YouTube video. And I hope you enjoy your uh, fish creations as well.